If you're in John chapter 6, you want to stop and figure out what's going on. Whenever you come up on a passage, you ought to stop before you try and interpret it. And what you want to do is you want to figure out what the situation is. What's the context of the passage, in other words? What type of literature is this? Is this history? Is this poetry? Is this gospel? Is this a letter, an epistle? Right? There's so many different types of literature. Who is the object of the passage? Is this passage talking just to ancient Israel? Is it talking just to the disciples? Is it talking to us now? Because that will help you discover how you apply it to yourself. And is the descript or is the uh, passage prescriptive or descriptive? One of the key mistakes people make is they read something in the Bible and they think everything's prescriptive. No, David committed adultery. That's not prescriptive, that's descriptive. He doesn't want you to commit adultery. And so when you look at a passage, you've got to figure out, is this a description of what happened or is this a prescription for us of what happened? So if you're in John chapter 6, you want to stop and figure out what's going on. I'll tell you the situation in a minute. What kind of literature is this? This is a gospel. What's a gospel? It's like a biography of Jesus. It's a news report, basically, of what Jesus said and did as he walked the earth. Who is the object of the passage? Well, this object would be any Christian, because it's telling you about our Savior, right? And is this prescriptive or descriptive? Most of what we're going to read is descriptive, but there will be some prescriptive elements in there, right? It's just a description of what Jesus did at this time. 